picking up on the first hole. Let's get going. Could roll into the rough on this one. Second shot here on the first. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. A birdie putt awaits. Well, that's a nice way to start, writing a little red number down on the scorecard at first. Can't burn him all unless you burn him the first, Luke. Good start. Tear of eighth place. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. You want to cut the corner as much as possible to shorten your second shot on this par five. Should you do that, a very straightforward second shot will set up birdies and eagles all day long. Find the trouble off the tee, and you'll find trouble on the rest of the hole. Don't fool yourself. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. The second hole of TPC Deer on Rich, really gettable for the players. Most players will go for this green into Luke. Knock it on. Can easily make birdie, maybe an eagle. Get a little careless, missing to the left or the right from the green. Pars and bogeys are had as well. Not able to find the green in two, but a bold play. Need to play their third. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Look who's getting on a roll now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's got some work to do. She's two strokes behind so far. was a shot and a half. So close to the eagle. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. On the tee of a par three. Par three, 183 yards up the hill. Blind tee shot. The big miss here is short right in that deep bunker. Should you find that bunker, you're also going to find yourself making bogey or worse. Anywhere on the green is a good shot. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. Well, this be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. So close. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Putting for a par now. Well hold. And as the scorecard suggests, heading up the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the four. Par four, 448 yards. Sweeping dog leg left to right, big tree in the middle, missed that. 
and you've got a simple second shot into a sliver of a green. That's some good golf right there. And Henny, what kind of a shot are they facing this time? Setting up her shot from about 125 yards. Feeling strong, going for less club. Standing over this one, and it's a very long putt. Is that a good line? And that should secure the power on this one. Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? Yeah, she's down, she's behind, her rival's scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Par four, this fairway chases away from the players down the hill, so tee shots will run forever, setting up a second shot that is very simple and straightforward. Lovely effort, that. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. This one is right down the pipe. That is outstanding and snatches a birdie as well. And this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. TPC Deer Run Rich is full of forced carries and the fifth is no different. I love the second shot. Should you find the fairway, you have a very simple shot down the hill where you can see the entirety of the green. You will go flag hunting with your second at the fifth. And this putt to move into a tie for third. That's half a chance of being on this one. That's inside the range. And with that, she'll move to three under par. She's in a share of third place. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. Par four measures just 361 yards, but only the long players will try and drive this green. The others, lay it up with an iron, wedge it on, hit it close, and make your birdie. No point hanging on to that one. You didn't hit your best there. Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that line. Now, this first cut is just lovely. It's almost like fairway. No worries here. What a shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And with that, she'll move to four under par. And well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. And after a boot at the last, we we'll take the other on the hole. Par three, down the hill. It seemingly plays short, but I can promise you it doesn't. Great shot into the seventh, and a chance for the boot. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. catch up with Brooke Henderson. She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. Here's Brooke Henderson's next shot. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. This hole is a par four. 
par four. Every single shot plays uphill. Make sure to take plenty of club. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Played this one about 130 yards out. Currently tied for the lead. Going with the eight iron here. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. How about that, Rich? How about that, Luke? Pretty much guarantees a birdie for this player. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will take it to six under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Par four, 485 yards, the toughest hole on the golf course. Make sure you find the fairway and get your second shot somewhere around the green to give yourself the best chance of making four. Well, that's a handy shot. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Setting up here from about 185 yards. Going with the six iron here. Good sounding strike, that one. Mm, she won't be too disappointed with that. Certainly a couple of putts from there. And that'll be a good hole. Butting for birdie. Super shot that, and with that, she'll move to seven under par. Incredible. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. Yeah, she's down, she's behind her rival scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. That's a beautiful bunker shot there. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Well, Rich, this is the pivotal final nine coming up and the player's perfectly positioned. They've given themselves a chance. Look, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is gonna play out. But so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play, hopefully a bold reward. Oh, that's a beauty. Great shot from the bunker. Trying to get to nine under for the event with this opportunity. Putting for eagle, that always sounds good. That's too bad. Three feet to go here to the hole. And that will drop in for birdie. And that will take her to eight under. And with that hole behind us, they're currently in the lead with Tiger Woods in second place. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Currently 
in the lead by a shot. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. We catch up with Brooke Henderson. She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, this is not a good outcome. Buried in the deep stuff. Oh, wow! What a shot! Oh, here she goes, marching up the leaderboard. Anything in five feet to be handy from here. That's disappointing. Just three feet to go to the hole. Don't miss this. They can be costly. Especially if we've heard this before, Tiger is coming off a birdie on his last hole, and that will take him to one off the lead. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Par three, plays 208 yards from the back. In saying that, this is a good birdie opportunity as the green is massive in size. This is some ball striking. Hitting greens and regulation, it's a thing of beauty. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. A chance for booty if this goes down. Looking good. That's a great putt to make. She's on fire today and is building her advantage. Now, two shots up after that one. off here on the 13th hole. Par four, back up the hill, 418 yards, the widest fairway on the golf course. Avoid all those bunkers, second shot up the hill to a narrow green that slopes off on both sides. quality shot that one and now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot she had a bad previous hole came off with bogey yeah. you like that didn't you what kind of shot are they facing here Henny this is looking around 115 yards out. Going with the 9-9, nine -nine, I think. Wow, very aggressive play on this approach, putting some pressure on their rival, Brooke Henderson. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Well, they will play. And I like it. Two in a row. And that puts her in first place. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Par four, 357 yards. Almost every player in the field will be giving it a whirl. Knock it on, and you could be rewarded with an eagle two. This looks to be a fair way seeker to me. Second shot here on the 14th hole. And then, what are they looking at here? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. That is hunting for the hole. 
Oh, sensational putt that one. A big play at the right time, and their rival is now shaking in their boots. Sitting at minus 11 for the day. The finish at TPC, dear runners, full of birdie opportunities and some low scoring to be had, Rich. This 14th hole is certainly part of that lineup. Par 4, 456 in length from the back tee. Must find the fairway off the tee shot to have any hope of finding the green in two. Large trees line the right and left hand side of the fairway. Oh, absolutely flush. This shot is about 140 yards out. Going with the pitching wedge here. Nicely done. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. A nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Oh, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. catch up with Brooke Henderson. It's been so tight. She's tied here with her rival. And can she pull ahead now? Let's return to live play now. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Here we are in front of a par three. Par three only plays 153, but a tricky little green to say the least. Don't let the beauty of the river to your left swallow you in. This is a tough but fun little par three. And Henny, what is she looking at here for this putt? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. sting a bit. Oh, good chance this one. Right on six feet. Okay, steady now. This is a bogey putt coming up. Not a bad line this. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Yeah, I can understand you'd be disappointed by the buggy. Here's an opportunity to bounce back. Players looking for a fast finish on the par five, 550 yards. Second shot does play up the hill, but there's plenty of room to miss your second shot around this green. Must make birdie for the players in the field. Well, after a successful drive at the 17th at TPC Deer Run, the players are facing the question, Rich. Lay up or go for it? Second shot straight back up the hill. Most players will bail just a little bit left as the green tends to run away quite a bit down the slope on the right-hand side. This is a great opportunity and possibly the final birdie opportunity on this golf course. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. And back to the play, shall we? And here we are with the third shot.
Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? Trying to move to 12 on the par with this putt. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. This one's tracking. And with that putt, she's bounced back immediately from the drop shot of the last. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. If you want to win a TPC Deer Run, you've got to successfully navigate this challenging final hole. Hard to describe the difficulty of this tee shot unless you've actually been here. Par 4, 463 yards. Missed the fairway bunker down the right-hand side, and you've got a clear shot to a very narrow green surrounded by water on the left-hand side. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. And with this putt, she can win the event. Ladies and gentlemen, have a round of applause for your John Lee Classic winner. What a spectacular performance all week long by this player. Clutch performance, clutch win by this player. Rich, there are some victories that stand out in your mind, and this one, for me, seems to be like that. That was a high-quality performance under all that duress. They played well when the pressure was at its greatest. I have to say, getting the job done with that amount of pressure on them, it was awesome. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, on behalf of Rich B, plus all the hard-working folks at HP Studios. It's good night for now.